Hi there, I'm Russ Sallow with gps to go I'm here today to introduce my company and the Geotab technology to the Ontario Federation of Snowmobile Clubs. If you're watching this, you probably are going to receive some of our Geotab GPS devices. And what we're going to do with this is give you an explanation of what to expect in the box, what we're all about, and you know how this product is going to benefit you. GPS to go, we've been reselling the product for 12 years. If you've ever watched Heavy Rescue 401, those people all use the Geotab product. Geotab has over 3 million devices deployed around the world. And again, it's an Ontario company, um, something to be very, very proud of. You'll receive boxes, and we're going to show you what's inside of maybe our satellite device, maybe our cellular device, and some of our cables. So let's have a look inside and see just what you're going to expect. So when you receive your equipment, we have set it up that districts 1 through 10 will receive the Go Rugged device only. And that means that you're only getting the cellular device and not the Iridium satellite add-on. So if you're in the first 10 districts, when you receive this, you'll have your box and you'll have your groomer code that we're going to place on the outside of it. So please put the GPS device in the appropriate vehicle. So the groomer code will match up with the serial number that's on the box and also with the equipment. So as an example, this is what you'll see inside the box. This is what we call our Go Rugged cellular device. And the cellular device is ruggedized IP67 rated. The serial numbers for the device are on the back and then you have your plug-and-play cables and these cables will work with depending on the type of vehicle you have maybe one of our fuse kit hardwire kits maybe one of our nine pin Deutsch connectors you may have a groomer where you're going to have one of our onboard diagnostic cable kits which I'll show in a second Inside of the box, you'll see that there are some mounting screws and you'll have your serial numbers. And I recommend what you do is take one of these off and put it inside the vehicle on the door jam, maybe on the console, so that the next person that goes in there, they'll be able to tell exactly which GPS device is in that groomer. The cables that you may receive when you receive the cellular only device and this will be uh, universal every groomer in the OFSC will receive one of these cellular devices you may receive one of these with a cable and some of you will have seen this kind of thing with big tractor trailers so the installation will be quite lovely for those of you that have um, some of them that have a nine pin connector already sticking out of the console. So the Case IHs, the John Deere's, things of that nature. Some of the print off um, vehicles have this. So what this allows you to do is you'll dislodge the existing nine pin of the vehicle, have it hang on its own wires. You'll dislodge it from its location. You'll attach this side with the locking collar. This one will go back out the native hole we have some bracketry for you so that when this goes out it will be secured and the geotab device will plug right in there so these will plug together just like that you may have one as well which may be the standard onboard diagnostic port much like you would have in a passenger car a pickup truck a van so inside of this you'll have the same basic three-way T harness as well so one end of this will go back out the native port of the vehicle the device will plug in to this end and you'll plug the native port of the vehicle into this end here those of you that have ones with a caterpillar motor or engine in it you will receive this transfer cable for the caterpillar engines 
There are some of the groomers where under the seat there is a connector that looks exactly like that. Remember, don't use that one. It's already open, but it's not for us. It looks like this, but don't plug anything into it. You'll use our connector. And then some of you will have the hardwire kits. So some of the BR-180s and other devices out there, uh, groomers that don't have some kind of modern port and the fuse kit and the hardwire uh, connector is here. So this again will plug right in as we had seen earlier. These plug together and this will give you power. This device, when you receive it, top here there's three little dots and those three little dots should come on when you receive power to the device. So you have a red one that tells you about power and then you have green and blue that talk about cellular communication, right? And then being able to see the satellites. So when you have all three of those lights power up, you'll know that you're in good shape. Those of you that are in districts 11 through 17, you will receive one of our Iridium satellite units as well. So here's what the bundle may look like. This is one going up to North Bay. And we've bundled this together because the satellite device and the cellular device should be paired together. And then we've put the appropriate cabling for the type of groomer. And again, the groomer code is on the outside of the bag. So you'll know exactly which one goes for which groomer. When you open this one up, inside of here, you'll have your conversion cable. This allows you to plug the Iridium satellite device into the cellular device. Inside of here you'll have your stickers with the serial numbers as well. And this is your satellite device. Now the satellite device, don't confuse the satellite antenna with the top of the Go Rugged device. They are not the same thing. The Go Rugged device requires no external antenna. It can just go in to the vehicles, upside down, right side up, behind plastic, behind the firewalls of the vehicles. But the satellite device, when you fix this together, must have a clear view of the sky. So please take this and you will clean a glass surface or put it somewhere where it can have a clean view of the sky. Again, 3M tape is on there and you will attach the Iridium satellite device to our Geotab Go Rugged device with the adapter cable that every satellite device will receive. On the satellite device, there are a series of blue wires here. So what you should do is take these blue wires. These are for an emergency button that can be used in a future date. When you take these, take them, cap them off, bundle them up, and uh, leave them for later down the road. We won't be putting them in at this time. So again, this is your Iridium satellite add-on. This is the antenna that goes with it and you have many feet of cable here so you can run that up through the plastic of the device stick this on the windshield stick this on the back window sometimes we put them flat on the center console where they can see up through to the sky one other part that I'd like to mention about when you are installing this equipment uh, once you put it in if you happen to have the laptop or you have a tablet in the field or even your smartphone, if you go to install.geotab.com and key in the G9 serial number on these devices, it will tell you if it's communicating to the server properly. Now, you're not always gonna get it to communicate when these are indoors and they're not moving. Again, please look for your three indicator lights as your main point of reference that the device is active and working. But again, if you happen to have uh, the ability to have 
a laptop or a tablet with you, install.geotab.com. Key in the G9 number and it will tell you within a matter of moments. So if you are in districts 1 through 10 where you're not going to need the Iridium satellite device, you won't receive the Iridium satellite device, you'll receive the Go Rugged device. Again, any of these cables you may receive depending on the actual groomer. So these will click together, you click it together and then your power will come out of that or if you happen to have one where you need a fuse kit again this will plug in and give you your power you'll hardwire that in with the schematics that will be given or again if you have a T harness this will fit again together the same way if by chance you also are in districts 11 through 17 and you're also receiving the satellite device so your satellite device will come with this adapter cable so we've got the RX 06S4 and what that'll do when we open that up this will connect between the geotab go device and it will plug into this mini USB adapter. So these two will go together. Now I recommend what you do at this point, put a zip tie around here, good and tight. Again, here is your blue emergency wires. So bundle those up nice and tight, tie wrap them to one of the cables. Again, here is your antenna not to be confused of course with the go rugged device so every groomer in the OFC will receive one of these not every groomer will receive the satellite only districts 11 through 17 will receive the true satellite device and again you've got your power cable that will power that but connecting those together you'll use that cable again RX 6s4 to connect the go rugged cellular device with our add-on wire to the iridium satellite device questions you can reach out to us at gps to go.ca and our phone number is on there as well so this install on this vehicle will require a a pigtail harness which is a RW08S1, which is just a big tail of all the pinouts on the Go Rugged system. So we got power and ground, and we got can high and can low, which are we interested in. So obviously, the red is power, black is ground, can high is blue, uh, can low is white. They are going to hook up to the Mercedes ADM module on the diagnostic port. So the install of the ADM. Tier 3 Mercedes on this uh, Husky vehicle is going to be getting power from the diagnostic port, connecting to the can high and can low on the ADM module, and our ground bolt will be here. And we're going to be using this harness, the RW08S1, exposing the power on the ground. Red is power, black is ground, blue is can high, white is can low. On here, red is can high, black is can low, and they will go. We will cut some wire back here. There was a loom here before, but we're, we, we're gonna expose a bit more wire here. So it makes for a better connection and gives us more wire to work with. So we're gonna cut the loom over backwards and then we're gonna cut and splice in here and cut and splice onto the power of the diagnostic port. So the diagnostic port just comes out like that and pull out like there and then we'll cut the splice into the power wire for the diagnostic port. All right, so we've uh, removed the plug to get easier access for can high and can low. Okay, so we have added samples of the soldered connections. And now we've got Okay, here we are with a GR9 installation. We're using an HRN-RW08S1. So basically what we're doing is we're tapping into the can high over here 
and the can low, what we're doing is we're uh, cutting, soldering, and uh, heat shrinking the two wires. Uh, and that's the blue, which is can high, and the white is can low. And of that harness, we're using the red, which is positive, and the black as ground. We put a nylon on it, we use the body ground of the vehicle or the asset, the snow groomer. And on the diagnostic terminal, we've got power, constant power lead off that one, and we tapped into it with the, uh, the fuse holder. So basically what we do now is put it all back together here and and uh, we assemble this like this here and in the background the geotab device is yeah. booting up beautiful and what we've done is we've run the wire here this is a gr9 device right here this is it. I run the wire through here, through the existing loom of the vehicle, underneath underneath the existing loom up here, ran it up here, alongside here, and then what we do is we mount it here, and we bolt it right here. Excellent. Uh, I can show you how I put the mounting screws in. What you do is when you're mounting screws into here, make sure you use the proper length screws and you're not tapping into anything uh, underneath it. You're not damaging any other harnesses. You make sure that everything is free underneath before you start putting screws in panels. So let's start again. There. So they mounted. And you can see by the impression in the foam, yeah. that's where these wires are sitting. Right. And you don't want to be messing into these wires or the heater holes. So the instruction to the viewer is be careful where you put those installation yeah. screws. Yeah, so I'm just wondering if it would be better going with two way tape. What do you think, powder screws? Alright, so we've done some installation here. So when you do this device uh, in these tier three huskies, put it under the ashtray and we're gonna use two way tape. So you can see the device is just sitting there and it is now stuck there with the good quality 3M tape. And it's booting up. It will beep for uh, up to 10 or 15 minutes off and on as it acquires its signal. And then we of course have all of our installation that we did in the previous shot over here.